Welcome to NextStar TV. My name is Emily and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 25 Captions. In this video, I'll cover how to create captions for figures and tables. Okay, so in this lesson we're going to be talking about captions. And captions can be good for a variety of things. They're great for graphics, for images, for tables, for charts, for equations. And why they're good is because captions can help you describe your pictures and also organize them when you have multiple uh, pictures in a document. Now Word's caption feature can be better than manually numbering your graphics because with the caption feature, your numbers will automatically change if you add or remove a graphic or if you decide to edit your document. Okay, so the first type of caption we're going to talk about is your table captions. And here are two examples of table captions, table one, table two. And you'll see that typically captions for a table are positioned above the table. So now let's create a table caption. So to do this, you're going to highlight your table and you're going to right click and click insert caption. Now another way to do this would be to come up to your reference tab and you can click insert caption. And again, it'll just bring up your caption dialog box. So the first thing you have to choose is your label. So since this is a table, we could leave it at table, but just so you can see, you also have the option to choose equation or figure. The next thing you'll notice is position. Again, I said most of the time that table captions are positioned above your table. So this would be above selected item, but you can also make it below if you'd rather. And if you don't like your automatic table caption, you can click new label, and this is where you would create your own caption. And if you don't want uh, the table portion of your caption to show, you would just click exclude label from caption and then your table caption would just be a number. Now you can also choose uh, a different style of numbering if you'd rather. You'll just come up to format and you can choose between Roman numerals, letters, whatever you prefer. We're just going to click OK and you see that your table caption was added into your document and you'll see that all the table numbers have automatically been updated because we're using Word's caption feature and we're not manually entering captions. The next thing I want to show you is how you would add a caption for figures. Um, this is very similar to what we just did for tables, but I still want to run through it. You're just going to highlight your image, or in this case, chart, and you're going to right click and come down to insert caption. Now we're going to go over to label, and we're going to change this to figure. Now figure captions are generally positioned below the item. So you'll see that below selected item is, is selected, but again, you can also choose above the selected item if you'd rather. And these are the same features that we just saw on the table. Uh, you can choose to exclude label from your caption, or you can customize your label. And again, you can choose to edit your numbering as well. We're just going to click OK, and you'll notice that the caption has been entered into your document. Now, some other features that you might choose to use is you can insert a table of figures into your document. So if you go up to References and click Insert Table of Figures, you can generate an automatic list of figures or page numbers, or you could do tables and page numbers. So we're just going to come down and do Table, and you click OK, and you'll see that it automatically generates a list of your tables that you've created and which page they can be located on. And you can also create cross-references for your figures or tables. So to do this, you would just click the come up to References, click the cross-reference button. You'll want to make sure your cursor is where you want your cross-reference to appear in your document. You can come and you'll select either equation, figure, or table based on which you want to cross-reference. In this case, we want to do the figure. And then you'll come up to Insert Reference To. This is where you choose what you want to display on your cross-reference. So you can choose just the page number, only the caption text, only the label and number, or the entire caption. We're going to choose the entire caption. You're just going to click Insert, and you'll see your cross-reference has been entered into your document. Thank you for joining Nextstar TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 25 Captions. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextstar.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com/nextstar.